One of the questions we always get asked at TubeZip is, how can I retarget traffic coming from Facebook and hitting a landing page using YouTube ads? And it's actually extremely simple to do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. My name is Justin Sardi. I'm the CEO and co-founder of TubeSift.com and VideoAdVault.com. And like I said, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use YouTube ads to retarget traffic coming from anywhere. Now people always ask about Facebook specifically, but you can actually do this with traffic from your email list or traffic that hits any landing page. It could be organic traffic even, right? So all you need to do is get a Google Ads account, have a global site tag, have a video, and set that video up as an ad, retargeting the list you're gonna create. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in a step-by-step -step process today. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a global site tag. Now a global site tag is essentially a retargeting pixel for your Google ad account. Now this is universal for your Google ad account. You don't have to create one every single time you wanna retarget a page, but you just need to get a global site tag. And I'll show you how to get that in just a second here. And then once you've installed the global site tag on every single page that you wanna retarget, you need to go into the audience manager in your Google ads account and create specific rules, if you will, uh, but you're essentially creating retargeting lists based on a set of rules. So you can create retargeting lists based on pages visited, uh, pages visited and other pages not visited, you know, multiple pages visited, all that good stuff. So you can actually get really granular with it and create retargeting lists of people who visited your opt-in page, but not your thank you page or something along those lines. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now on my computer. So let's go ahead and jump on over. All right, so we're in our Google Ads account right here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to Tools and Settings, and we're going to go to Audience Manager. Now, this is gonna get us our retargeting pixel. So you can see it'll take us to Segments, right? But what we wanna do is come down here to Your Data Sources. We're gonna click that, and you're gonna see the Google Ads tag. Now, this is where we're gonna get our remarketing tag or retargeting tag. Uh, it's actually called the Global Site Tag. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see this, this is all the data that we have here. Obviously, you're gonna have some uh, some different data, or if you if you haven't set this up yet, you're not going to have any. But what we're going to do is we're going to install the tag yourself, and we're going to take this global site tag right here, right? So we're going to take that global site tag. Now, what that is is the remarketing pixel, and all you need to do is put this on the head of every page or in the head tags of every single page that you want to track. Now, you don't have to make any adjustments to this pixel itself. What we're going to do is set up individual lists every time this pixel fires, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going to take that, we're good to go, and we're going to come over here to obviously install it on your pages. So let's say I want to track tubesift.com, right? Um, I would install it in the head of this page, which is actually on here, uh, and you can actually get the Google Tag Assistant to double check that it's installed correctly. And we can click this and boom, here we go. We got the global site tag on here and we are good to go, All right? So that's in the head of the page. Then we're gonna come over here to segments. So once we get into our audience segments, we're gonna create a segment. So I wanna track all like tube sift, site visitors, uh, non-buyers or something like that, right? And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So non-buyers, so I could say visitors of a page who also visited another page, but really what I want is people who did not visit another page. Now you could just set this up as visitors of a page, but I'm just gonna set this up right here. So here is the visited page. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna copy our URL and paste that right here. And maybe my thank you page is thanks, right? So that whatever your unvisited page is there. And obviously you need the pixel on both of these. From here, we are good to go. All you have to do is say, hey, do I want people in the past 30 days? Cool, it'll fill it if you've had the Google, um, the, the um, global site tag on there. And membership duration, you know, if, if I want this to be like 90 days, right? So I, I would also say, you know, 90 day non-buyers or something like that. Um, so I'd say 90 day non-buyers, right? Boom, we're good to go. From here, I just create the segment and we are good to go. Now, I don't wanna create that because I don't want to um, confuse the team, 
right? So from here, we have that segment created. Now, everybody that's coming from anywhere, you know, Facebook and hitting our TubeSIF site and not buying goes onto our retargeting list. Then I come over here, I click this plus button and I go new campaign and I'm going to go sales. Uh, we have a full training on setting up these campaigns, so definitely check that out. I'm just gonna quickly run you through how to get this list in here. Um, and you go through the whole setup like you normally would in our training, and like I said, I'll link to that. And then over here, we go audience segments. Now this is where this is gonna be, your data right here. We can search this, and we go browse, and then we go website visitors, and we just choose the website, or the, the list that we just created, right? People in the last, you know, whatever, however many days kind of thing. So we're good to go there. We add that and then you set up your ad. Uh, we have a full training on how to script your ads, all that stuff as well. I will also link to that underneath this blog post. But you just create the campaign, set it up, and boom, you now have a retargeting list of everybody that's coming from any different traffic source and you can hit them with a YouTube ad so you have another traffic source to kind of retarget them and scoop them up with. And this is an extremely easy way to get all this going for you. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to set up and build these retargeting lists. And all you need to do to get them running is set up a YouTube ad campaign. Now I'm not gonna cover that in this video because we have a whole nother blog post on exactly how to set up YouTube ads the new way and the new types of ads that Google has rolled out. So I'm gonna to link to that below this video. So all you have to do is uh, click the link below this video to check that out. Or if you're watching it on our blog, you can check the link uh, on this blog post as well. And that'll show you step-by-step step how to take what you just learned in this video and apply that to your YouTube ad campaign setup and hit those audiences that you've just created with your YouTube ad. So uh, if you're ever having any issues targeting or coming up with different angles for your videos, be sure to check out TubeSift and Video Ad Vault. And uh, also go ahead and snag our free bookmarker. There should be a link to that um, on the blog, which will be on the right-hand side of this video. You can get that free tool and you can create your own YouTube ad swipe file for free. So that's it for me on this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.